It is a common misconception that Formula 1 race cars are the fastest cars in the world. While very few vehicles in the world can compete with a Formula 1 car's pace over a lap of the race circuit, modern F1 cars are usually limited to average top speeds of around 350 to 360 km per hour to maintain a usable level of traction, as well as appropriate gearing for circuits. You'd have to sacrifice a lot of cornering power just to get a Formula 1 car to 400 km an hour, and it would have a much slower lap time than a regular Formula 1 car. It would be useless to have an F1 car that can hit 400 km an hour in very long straights, but take three times as long to accelerate out of corners. It costs far too much to even entertain the idea, not to mention the safety risk of pushing an F1 car far past its comfort zone in pursuit of what many deem to be a pointless goal. You might be forgiven for thinking that the idea of pushing an F1 car to 400 km an hour remains a fault experiment, but in fact, a Formula 1 car has passed 400 km an hour before, and it was achieved by none other than BAR Honda. The idea for the record was dreamt up by marketing executives at BAR Honda in 2004. Take a near standard Formula 1 car chassis to Bonneville Salt Flats in the United States and get it up to 400 km an hour. FIA medical car driver Alan Vandermerver, who was a test driver for Honda at the time, recalled the idea as ridiculous. The cars do the speed they do on track, 360, maybe 370 km an hour with a tow, and that's it. It's nearly impossible to go faster. We thought we'd need to completely rebuild the chassis and double the horsepower to hit 400. Initially, testing with a 2005 BAR Honda chassis saw it run in a similar setup to Monza qualifying. Low downforce, high speed. Other than the replacement of the rear wing with a stability fin, it was practically the same car that Jensen Button and Takuma Sato had driven all year, making it completely unsuitable for land speed record runs on the dusty pavement in the Mojave Desert, where the car was tested. We couldn't get the car out of first gear, Vandermeer said. The ECU couldn't handle that much wheel spin, and on the slippery salt, the tyres couldn't grip. It put everyone's hopes on the floor. Nevertheless, the Project 400 team learnt on the job. After several tweaks, the car began to reach the speeds it needed. At testing in the Mojave Desert, the Project 400 car hit 413.2 km per hour, the fastest speed ever recorded by an FIA-sanctioned Formula 1 car. At Bonneville, however, it was a totally different ballgame. Van der Merwe recalled driving at Bonneville, saying, There was no feedback. You're surrounded by this vast whiteness. The only way you can tell you're going fast is the car's screaming in seventh gear and your helmet's getting pulled off your head. You had to be patient with the power delivery, the slightest wheel spin, and suddenly you're 5 to 10 km an hour off the record. In order to have the record verified, the car had to complete a measured mile in both directions to eliminate assistance from the wind. In the official run, the car managed 400.4 km per hour but failed to repeat it on the return leg, setting the official Formula 1 record over a mile at 397.36 km an hour, 246.9 miles an hour, just shy of the mythical 400. Nearly 15 years on, the Bonneville 400 project tends to fall into the same category as a live demo or a marketing stunt, but that's not entirely fair. The engineering challenge of taking a basically standard F1 car up to 400 km per hour deserves a great deal of credit. The immense difficulty of the challenge is part of the reason why it's never been attempted since. Curiously, there is another record that Van der Merwe holds. Because the Bonneville 400 car was officially designated as an F1 car for the purposes of the record as directed by the FIA, and because Van der Merwe has driven the medical car in Formula 1 since 2009, he is the fastest driver in the Formula 1 paddock, despite never having started an actual Formula 1 Grand Prix. Perhaps one day, Formula 1 cars might exceed Van der Merwe's record. Only time will tell.